We'll call it the end of an era. The last remaining Sears in the New York area is getting ready to close its doors for good. Right, Fox News Chris Welch takes a closer look at how the department store went from being the largest retailer in the world to standing on its last legs. Sears has been a part of American lives for literal generations. How many years have you been ordering from the catalog? It's, oh, my goodness. I guess 60 years. What began as a mail order catalog in the late 1800s evolved into a physical department store known for tools, home appliances, clothing, and more. You name it, uh, you can get almost anything here. But in 2018, the company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. A year later, the company sold its remaining stores. Now, the only location left in the metro area and the only store in New Jersey at Jersey City's Newport Center Mall will be closing its doors. How long have you been coming here? Oh man, my whole life. We, we come here for all the tools. Like I come here for the tools. Uh, probably my mom used to come here for, for clothes shopping. So, uh, you know, to lose something like this is, uh, is, is iconic. In the 1970s, Sears was the largest retailer in the world. Richard Kestenbaum is an investment banker who specializes in merchandising retail stores. Sears should have been Amazon. Amazon should never have existed. Sears had everything to remain the largest retailer in the world. But retailing is a very creative industry, and it's very easy when you're number one to become comfortable. But the brand did not evolve the way it could have, says the National Retail Federation's Susan Retta. They kind of didn't keep up with the changing consumers' preferences. They never really went into the whole digital phase of retail. I do think the store will be missed. Right now, there is no official last date, but when the store does finally close, there will only be 10 Sears locations left in the United States. In Jersey City, Chris Welch, Fox 5 News.